Hey guys, so sorry it took me so long to make this video, but I figured I'd finally do an update on the Super Vanilla to Normal Clutch. They've all shed and eaten about three times, and they're starting to look really good. So, um, I'm not too good at sexing them myself yet, so I'd like to get a second opinion on the sexes before I can guarantee that. But, uh, let's start off with the snake here. Um, unfortunately, two of the snakes in the clutch had a sort of uh, defect, you can see here, that made one of the eyes smaller than usual. Um, you can see they have uh, one normal eye on the left side and then on the right eye. Uh, the right eye is smaller. So um, I've talked to a couple of breeders about that and uh, it's, you can't really control it. It's not genetic or anything. Uh, it doesn't harm the snake in any way. They eat normal. Uh, they act perfectly normal and everything. So <clears throat> uh, I'll be keeping them anyway just to be safe, but it's not really a problem. Uh, here's the second snake that also has the small eye. Um, but other than that, you can tell they look pretty nice, I'd say. So, yeah. Uh, the vanilla, vanilla is kind of a subtle morph on its own, uh, not too noticeable, but uh, if you've seen some of the combos in the super, then uh, you'll see how powerful this gene really is. Uh, it's really great for combos, and I hope to have some pretty cool vanilla combos uh, this coming year. So I'm really excited about that, and I really like these guys a lot. One. This is one of the nicer ones, in my opinion, out of the clutch. I think that one looks really nice. But, uh, of course they're nicer in person. It's always hard to capture the colors, especially of the more subtle morphs. Um, you might notice there's no water in the water dishes. I just cleaned them all out, man. I was waiting to fill them up so they wouldn't be spilling water all over the place while I was filming. So yes, uh, this is the fifth one. Another nice one. This is probably... I'm pretty sure this one's a female. Again, I'm not positive, but uh, I think it's a female, so I'll probably be holding this one back. I just really like the looks of this one. The faded head, cool patterns. It's got that little mark right there I kind of like, and then a nice stripe on the tail. So that's a really nice snake. Next, we have this little one here. Looking good. So, these are the only two I actually have water bowls for. Um, I've just been using plastic cups for the others until I could get some better water bowls, but they work fine. Um, these won't be for sale until I can uh, guarantee the sexes on them, so I wouldn't want someone to accidentally get a male when they wanted a female or something like that. So once I get the sexes guaranteed, these are pretty much good to go. And um, I've got a pretty, I've got a couple people on a list, so um, they will get to pick in the order that uh, they were asked to put on the waiting list and then um, any after that will be up for sale.
Yeah. And the last one. This is a pretty interesting looking one. It's got a bit more black than the others. A lot of nice contrast in this one. Really dark black on the head and the head and the markings. I just really like this one. So yeah, uh, that's about it. Hope you enjoyed these. And um, my next clutch is due in a little less than two weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. And I uh, hope you all enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.